So on the election day for uh, June, especially uh, 2016, mm -hmm. did anything unusual happen or special happen? You were you were there working that day. Mm -hmm. um, I was uh, on the election day. I was in the office. Um, you know, I got there at eight normal time. I took a two hour lunch, and I can't remember what my hours of my lunch were, but a two hour lunch, and then I was um, in office until midnight, um, and. Um, during the day, um, I didn't, you know, nothing. it was my first election, so for things to seem, if, you know, things were off, I don't, I don't know for sure, but some things that I thought were kind of a big problem, um, a lot of polls were running out of ballots, and so a lot of people were given provisional ballots, even if they were registered voters. Um, they, you know, the, the ballot count was low for, and I don't know, you know, I can't remember if it was a specific, you know, district or precinct or anything like that, but I do remember that being a big problem. A lot of the poll workers were calling in, we don't have any more ballots for this person. And you specifically order, I mean, you, you get the count of how many in each precinct and, you know, um, and so I do remember that being an issue. So a lot of people were voting provisional. And I don't mean to interrupt you, but did you know, uh, that the provisional ballots were just photocopied sheets of paper? Um, yeah, because we ran out of provisionals as well. There were a very low count of ballots, and so some of the provisionals were um, photocopied. And one of the suggested, and I don't remember who made the suggestion, but one of the suggestions were, less, there's a lot more at this poll, let's just get those and bring them over here. Well, a lot of, you know, there's because they're different districts, so Bobby Chadwick would not you know, she's District 3, so she would have been on somebody else's, you know, and so I don't know if that was ever, if they borrowed ballots, you know, but I do know that they were photocopied. Um, some of the provisionals were photocopied because they were, there was a shortage of ballot, ballots um, on election day. And, and so that was one of the problems that I remember being um, on election day. And election night, so I went through this training with a guy named Mike, and he was from the Secretary of State, I believe. Um, and it was a training of how to enter the count, you know, each count that you did for on um, election night, you enter it into the system. And I did, the, uh, there were three trainings, and I went, I sat, they were on the computer, and I sat through each one of them um, to make sure that I knew exactly how to enter these votes, you know, the counts into the system. Um, and so I, every time they came through, I went over and the computer was in Shanna's office. So I went over to Shanna's office um, and Maddie Woodman was with me every time I entered it in. So it wasn't just myself doing it. Um, and, you know, I'd call Mike to make sure, hey, is, did it, is it in there right? You know, did you get it? To make sure that there was no issues with getting these counts. And then the very last count comes in, everybody's in the office at this time, so we, you know, there's an official report that Maddie posts to the um, website and I enter it into the, into the system for the Secretary of State. Um, and uh, my call said, all is good, we have your numbers, thanks, great election day, whatever. So then, um, right before everyone leaves, or at that point it was Julie, Barcelona, Shanna, and myself in Shanna's office. And um, I don't remember if she got another phone call from Mike or how it happened, but the next thing I know, Shanna's telling me, oh, you did it all wrong, you screwed it all up, I, we need to redo this, the numbers aren't in there correctly. And so I'm like, well shit, let me call, Sorry. <laughs> Let me call my husband and tell him I'm going to be another hour or two, you know, I have this little boy at home and, um, and she's, no, everyone could just go home, I'll do it. And so Julie and I walked out of the building, Shanna re-entered votes, vote numbers, or counts, you know, for the votes into the system, and she was the only one in the office. Um, and I remember feeling like, oh, I really screwed up, you know, I really, but I, but then, you know, I was crying on my way home because I felt bad Shanna had worked this long day and, you know, so much stress on her shoulders from the election and then here I am screwing everything up and, and then I started thinking, that's pretty fishy because Mike called and said, all is good, you know, you guys can go home, great day. And then, like, I, I just, I wish I could remember if she got a call or an email or, you know, something. I don't know how, but 
she, you know, she just said, oh, these aren't in there right and I need to redo it. So, and are you aware that she has a, the watch that she can receive emails mm -hmm. with? Okay, yeah, so her, I, an iWatch, I think it's called. Yeah. So uh -huh. it, it's possible mm -hmm. that she could have received something and you wouldn't even have noticed. Absolutely, because she was on, I mean, you know, you'll be talking to her and it's like, <laughs> you know, she's on her watch. So, but something, something happened or she pretended something happened to where, I mean, she absolutely, you know, and I would go to the Secretary of State with that saying that I put these numbers in, Mike, and I'm sure I have, you know, I'm probably in, because I don't throw anything away in my notes somewhere, I probably have his name, um, you know, him saying all is good, and then, and I thought it was weird because Julie and Shanna are very tight, and Shanna even told Julie, go home, I'm pissed off, I don't want to be here anymore, I'm going to do this, you guys can go. And so Shanna was the only one in the office when she re-entered counts into the system.